first time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. Omar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global, and the Joseph Hi. Parker press conference in London today, joined by heavyweight Malik Scott. How you been? What's up, mate? Yeah, good. Yeah. Enjoying London? Enjoying the festivities, enjoying the presence of the young lions. I'm enjoying it all. What's up, brother? Uh, just do, enjoying the presence of the young lions. Uh, I'm extremely blessed to be around these guys because, especially AJ and Joseph Parker. Something AJ said that made a lot of sense. Joseph Parker is the mirror of himself. Young, mm. champion, Hungry. intelligent, can fight fast, like the whole thing. So this this is a barn burner fight, man. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so obviously you've been sparring uh, Joseph Parker. Yeah, I was sparring Parker for yeah. the Huey fight as well as the as well as this fight. You know? But I've been following him my whole career because that's my job. Fighting, staying in training camp, following the young lions that's coming up. I can tell you guys that's coming up that no one even know about. That's 21 years old with one, they record is one and no, but they coming. I've been seeing these young lions. I've seen Parker and AJ come. Go and look at an uh, interview I did with Ellie Sebat. I watched AJ spar Vladimir Klitschko. I did an interview with Ellie Setback, and I said, Anthony Joshua is going to be world champion. He said, well, why you say that? I said, because I just watched him do more than hold his own with Vladimir Klitschko. I think a year and a half later, he beat Vladimir Klitschko in the heavyweight title. Mm. Yeah, you obviously have been sparring Joseph. How dangerous of a threat is Joseph to Anthony Joshua? I think he's very dangerous. I think uh, AJ is aware of that. I think he have all the attributes to be dangerous, not just for Anthony Joshua, but for anybody. He's fast, he's young, he's champion, he's confident, he's powerful, and most important, he's healthy. And when you mix all of that with a healthy fighter, it's very dangerous mix, very dangerous, so it's a great fight. Do you think people are slightly overlooking this fight, talking about Wilder and AJ, and sort uh, of seeing past yeah, the fight because, first? Yeah, that's just in human nature. People want what they want, and, um, uh, everybody want to see AJ and Wilder. I'm sure you do as well. I wouldn't mind seeing as yeah. well. But first things first, AJ first have to deal with this lion. Mm. Like you know what I mean? So I, I don't even know how to look at AJ and Deontay fighting right now. I can't even take. The, I, I don't know how to really vision it because I've been in camp with AJ's opponent, and I'm seeing how feel, feeling in seeing how serious he is, and watching him get through trials and tribulations in camp, and watching him box three or four different guys. Not three or four regular guys. He's boxing Tony Yoka, Malik Scott, Roz, and this is all in one day. Gold medalist, heavyweight contender. Roz Vaughn is very violent. He might throw you down in sparring. He might headbutt you. It sounds violent, but these are the type of tests that when you're at a world level, you need. Mm. You can't play safety first all the time when you're getting ready for a world title fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a good thing. You know what I mean? Good thing. You at the heavyweight fight tomorrow at the O2? Lucas Brown, Dillian White? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You there? Uh, ringside, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Go, yeah, yeah? I don't know about ringside. Don't think, but <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm sure you are. I'm sure I, you are. I hope so. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, that's actually Eddie. Sort him out. Yeah. I'll say, um, yeah, thoughts on that fight tomorrow? Little breakdown of that one. Well, first of all, I'm very proud of Dylan because he came back from his... Uh, remember, they... they, they Suspended him for, for substance that one time. Okay. He came back from that. I watched him box Vlad a lot. Held his own. I was boxing him at one time, helping him get ready for the AJ fight. What I'm impressed with the most is once again adversity. I watched a doctor. I didn't hear a doctor say this to him. I watched a doctor tell Dylan, "You shouldn't fight this fight. You shouldn't fight Anthony Josh right now because your shoulder is not. You shouldn't do it right now." Dylan didn't listen to it, left the doctor's office, wrapped his shoulder up, went and boxed three or four guys. And the, the mental toughness that it took for him to get through that camp and give the effort that he gave to fight Joshua, you can't buy that kind of character. You can't teach that. You get what I'm saying? Somebody mm. has to be born with that yeah. inside. So I think this characteristic that I'm talking about about Dylan is what got him in the position he's in tomorrow. So he's in with a tough guy, Lucas Brown, who's all, who also is a wolf, and he's coming for what he's coming for. But I think Dylan is the favorite, and I can see why. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going for Dylan and, and Parker wins then? Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, repping the team New Zealand as well, all yeah, of that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Repping. Yeah. Isn't it? Who say that? Repping. Isn't it? That's how yeah. Stormzy talk. Yeah? Yeah, repping. You getting with that lingo? <laughs> Repping, isn't it? Yeah. Anyways, Malik Scott, pleasure to interview you. Thanks oh, for your time. Oh, snap! <laughs> in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.